So when we look at the altitude in the park, the south have the highest altitude of 1,292 meters above sea level. But as we move down, what you see up on the horizon are the at beast, junctions at beast. That is an antelope uh, species. Uh, we have seven subspecies of antelopes in the park. Yeah, one of them being the junctions at beast. Uh, when we look at the altitude in the park, the south have the highest altitude of 1,292 meters above sea level. So as we move down the delta is where we have the lowest altitude of 619 meters above sea level. It's the lowest altitude in the park and the lowest altitude in Uganda as well. Uh, the highest in this country goes to the western part of the country. That is around the Renzori Hills, where it goes to 5,109 meters high. And when we look at the abiotic features in the park, when we see the climate, we have two rainy seasons. The first one begins from March to May. Then the second one is from September to November. But uh, due to these wars, uh, many of them were pushed because of the ivory. They were really, really dropped up to hundreds, the, the population. But due to consistent conservation, it is coming up again. So we now have many elephants, and elephants during dry season congregates a lot along the shores. But this time, because there's a number of water holes in the park, they are scattered everywhere because they have water, water to drink. The southern part, we have the forest ecosystem. Uh, northern sector, we have the aquatic, I mean the savanna ecosystem, then we have the aquatic ecosystem as well. That is the Nile we have just crossed. So right now we are in the savanna. So how this bush is managed, uh, uh, the, it is through bush burning. Uh, during dry season, uh, the bush uh, is, is set ablaze. And this is a planned bush fire. And when it is well planned, it can be used as a management tool. So uh, the nutritious grass that will come from the bush fire boosts the gestation processes. So that's the time you see them with lots of young ones. However, it is also of great disadvantages because it clears all the wildlife that can't escape from fire. All the losers. <laughs> uh, these are males that lost the fight from the group. Very dangerous males. Uh, being lonely makes them desperate. So that means they can easily attack. And that prompts the female to urinate by testing the vulva. Then that's the time you see the bull lifting the upper leaves in a posture that exposes the olfactory cells. So when a bull is not active in that manner, definitely it's a factor. So they keep around the water hole. You see how they, they are grouped up in the water hole. They put the lower abdomen down. That is mainly because of the private parts that attracts many ticks. It's easy for ticks to access the vessels. So by placing in the mud is suffocating ticks. That's what happens, yeah. That's how nature takes its course. They have to manage their issues here and there. What happens is now the males come together as a group for security. They regroup because with buffaloes at 10, the tooth will get worn out. That's the time they start becoming weak. We are going to see a very big, big breeding heart as well. Borasas is not an indigenous of this place, it's all the way from the South Sudan. 
So some years back this used to be a corridor. Look at these tiny guys on the road. Size. They don't grow bigger it's than that. Well, that's it. Very yeah. special diet for the leopards because they are portable. They easily <laughs> carry them in the trees. That's them at full size. Yes, that's a fully grown up size. Wow. But due to human activities, it is all down now. That corridor is no more. So if you look at the concentration of the palm trees is within the valleys. So it's telling us that's where elephants used to cross and have a drink. So we have over 3,000 giraffes in a park. According to research, the most stable population of giraffes in Africa is in Machishon Falls. And a group of giraffes is called a tower. A tower of giraffes. Uh, the adult giraffes grow up to five and a half meters high. Uh, when a calf is born, is already two meters, and they grow very fast, almost three centimeters on a daily basis. So if you look at a giraffe for five months, it looks very adult. Blood vessels uh, with a series of valves that help to offset the sudden blood buildup, and therefore it prevents fainting. When the head is raised, lowered, or swank down by the scientists, a giraffe is an interbreeding between a camel and a leopard. And that has forever been mistaken and documented in the giraffe scientific names of Giraffa camelopardalis. 14 to 16 months is a gestation period the lifespan is between 28 to 30 years. And a calf can survive an early weaning of two to three months. Because at two months they start plucking leaves. Yes, the animals are not shy. They are, they're not shy. No. no. They like the road. Open area is uh, being scared of their enemies. Uh, they like to see. Yeah, you don't have to be grabbed from the bush. <laughs> yes. See the junctions at beast? Uh, these are called the at beast. Oh, there's another one coming. That's a Uganda cob, the Uganda national animal. So the at beast means a tough ox, uh, one of the fastest antelope. If you follow up the African history, it's for sacrifice. And that time they had dominated all over Africa. But however, they have gone into extinction that they have been left only in the protected areas. All serve horns. And they are known for having a short memory they easily forget. You see how these things are running? That means there's something that they don't understand around. You see how they're jumping up and down. No, the other one. For them, they are not all that keen like this. Oh, she scared them. So I should be expecting. And this grass in this country now is like gold. You don't get it out there. If you look at uh, some of these hotels in the park, they are all made of grass. Mm. And it is more expensive than uh, the high on sheet. Uh, yeah. Grass. You can't even get it in the communities anymore. They are remaining in the national park. That's why in my culture, in the villages, 
uh, initially all houses were made of grass. So you don't buy a fridge because it is so cool that even the water that is put in the pot it is more tasty than the one you remove from the freezer. Which culture is So, uh, the cops you are seeing here are the young ones. This one should be about two to three months only. Old. So, they also come together as a group of the young ones that is grooming one another. And if you look carefully in, uh, in this group, we are seeing at a distance, those are all mothers. So this is the time they are nursing one another, but cubs group up in territories. So in a territory, there are some breeding males. Uh, that territory is called the cub lake. Where male comes to its territory, the female will follow the males. So how the male takes over the territory is through a, a serious competition that is fighting one another. So the winner takes the majority of the females. And their mating season comes after every 22 days. So if you look at the rate of which the predators like the lions takes the Uganda cubs, they mainly take males. Because males spend most of their time fighting and mating. So when a predator comes, they forget. They are doing giraffes as strictly browsers. They feed on leaves. Uh, they have predators like the lions that goes for the young ones, but the mothers are defensive. They have a serious kickback. regulating the body temperature. Late in the evening they move out to feed. Hippos are vegetarians. Because of injuries they can assist each other using their trunks by pulling one another. Even on labor females can as well assist. In every herd of elephants, there is a group of females that are midwives. Their work is to monitor the conditions of the mothers expecting. And when a calf is born, they celebrate as well by trumpeting. When they focus, they mourn and bury each other as well. Interestingly, females go on normal menstruations like humans and they part themselves using grass. Very brilliant they eat according to their body weight. Yeah. 
see how it's moving. 22 months is a gestation period. The lifespan is 70 years. Seven tons is the weight of adult elephants. Now they are moving towards the water. Yeah,